the crab-eating macaque. Hero! Where are you, Hero? Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great! Let's play a game of fetch. I will throw this stick very far away, and you will get it and return it back to me. You ready? Fetch! Hero, you're supposed to get the stick. Ow! That's weird. Sticks don't fly. Come on, guys. Let's have a look. There's nothing here. It's a monkey! I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, monkey. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a monkey. We found it in the garden. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. That's a very interesting monkey. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the monkey. Bingo! This monkey is a macaque. A macaque? Yes, a macaque. A macaque is a type of monkey. And the monkey you found is a crab-eating macaque. I guess there must be a lot of crabs to eat. Not really. Crab-eating macaques actually don't eat that much crabs. It's an omnivore, so it can eat different types of plants and small animals. Where does it come from? Crab-eating macaques live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The macaque you found comes from this place. Hmm, I think the macaque got lost. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers Ah, I see you brought a young male macaque Yes, Ranger Rocky We're here to find his family Hmm, I don't think that's a good idea, Leo It's very important that you don't look for his family don't look for his family. Why not? Most crab-eating macaque males will leave their family when they are old enough. They will look for a new group of macaques. The macaque you found is a male, and he left his group to look for a new one. I think he got lost. Then we should help him find a new group of macaques. Good idea, Leo. Crab-eating macaques are usually found in trees. You might want to look for a place with a lot of trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here's a field with a road and some trees. And on this side are a lot of trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some trees. And over there are a lot of trees. So where should we go? There, 
That's right. We need to go to a place with a lot of trees because macaques are usually found in trees. Let's go. Oh no! There are too many trees here. It's impossible to walk. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We can't climb like that. He's gone. What is it, Hero? Stairs? Let's go up and have a look. Hey, this monkey is also a macaque, but this one is much bigger. Whoa! What are you doing? Were you looking for this? If you give me the binoculars, I will give you this banana. What is it, Hero? A sign? Hmm. I think it means we cannot give the monkeys food. It says that they have to find their own food, or else they might bother us and try to steal our things. Oh, dear. Careful, Leo. Do not smile with your teeth showing because the macaques will see that as a sign of aggression. Oops! Time to leave! Everybody, let's fly! I think we should look for another group of macaques for you. These macaques weren't so nice. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! If you want to find a group of macaques, just look up in the trees. Not in the bees or high in the cheese, but look up in the trees. I see. So not in the bees or high in the cheese, but, but look, look up, up in the trees. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a group of macaques, you have to look up in the trees. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a group of macaques. Hero, look up in the trees. Are those macaques? Hmm, those are birds. Let's continue. Do you know what those are? Correct, those are fruits. So let's keep looking. Can you see what they are? That's right, they are macaques. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. <laughs> we did it. We found a group of macaques for our new friend. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! found a macaque in our garden. We learned that a macaque is a monkey. We went to the rainforest and found a group of other macaques it can live with. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Time again. With me and my best friends. Help! Save me from the dinosaur! Ah! Don't worry, Billy. Night Tim to the rescue! We're also coming to save you, Billy! Charge! Huh? Uh, I'm stuck! Don't worry, Tim. Night Paula and Calc to the rescue! 
No, I'm a knight. I don't need rescuing. Ark. Ha! I'm free. Oh man, my horse broke. I can't be a real knight without a real horse. If you want a real horse, you can ride Mirabel at the farm. Yes, yes, Mirabel is a real horse. Let's go now. To show Tim, but before riding Mirabel, let's ride Buggy to the farm. Woohoo! <laughs> Can I ride Mirabelle now? Can I? Oh, there. First, you need to learn how to ride her. Treat Mirabelle gently and politely. Remember to use the two magic words, please and thank you. Okay, okay, I got it. Knight Tim is ready to ride his horse. Um, how do I get up? Oh, I forgot to feed the animals and collect the chicken's eggs. I'll be back to help you get up on Mirabelle. No, Mr. Farmer. I'll just get on myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not tall enough, Tim. Let's get the numbers to help you. No, I can do it. I'm a knight and knights don't need help. Okay, we'll leave it to you then. Uh, 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 why is this so hard? Ow! Where did this barrel come from? Hey, I know what to do. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it! I'm a real knight! Hey, Tim! Look who we brought with us! Now we can all ride together. Come save me, Knight Tim! <laughs> Let's go, Mirabelle! Go, go, go! Come on, Tim! What are you waiting for? I'm coming! Mirabelle, giddy up! Move! <laughs> You're missing out on all the fun, Tim! Mirabelle, move! I'll never be a real knight if I can't ride my horse anywhere! Please move, Mirabelle! Yeah, that's more like it! Faster! Faster! Tim, you're going too slow! I know! Mirabelle, go faster! Forward! Charge! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Mirabelle's running away! Let's go save Tim! Knight Paula to the rescue! Calm down, Wolfie. I didn't forget your lunch. Ha! Ah, stop moving, Mirabelle! Why aren't you listening to me? Tim! Mirabelle! Where did you go? Oh no! I think we lost them. Look, Paula. There's one horseshoe print here. I see more of them. Two, Two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight! eight. The prints are leading into the forest. Mirabelle and Tim must have gone that way. Let's go! Okay, be 
still, Mirabel. I'm going to get off now. Ah, not again! Whoa! Paula, I think we lost them. Don't worry, Billy. Let's search for more horseshoe prints to find them. Whoa! 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 Mirabelle, please stop! Whoa! Ow! Oh. 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 I don't see any horse prints. Yeah, I only see pine cones. Oh no! Come back! Oh dear! Um, it's okay. The animals have probably gone back to the farm. Let's just head back there. Okay, Paula. Which way to the farm? I think it's this way. I thought it's that way. Um, I don't know. Oh dear, we're lost. Come on, Mirabelle, move. <sighs> Why are you being so difficult? Hmm, what did Mr. Farmer say? Treat Mirabelle gently and politely. Remember to use the two magic words, please and thank you. Oh, yeah. Mirabelle, please walk. <coughs> it's working. Thank you, Mirabelle. Now, please turn left. Huh? Aren't those the animals my friends were riding? But where's Paula and the others? <gasps> Mirabelle, I think my friends are in trouble. Please, we need to go rescue them. <coughs> Knight Tim and his horse Mirabelle to the rescue! Paula, Calc, where are you guys? Billy, Chalky! Tim, is that you? We're over here! Hang on guys, we're coming! Mirabelle, please find Paula. There they are. Thanks for saving us, Night Tim. Mirabelle, can you give my friends a lift back to the farm, please? Thank, Thank you, you, Mirabelle. Oh, children, you managed to get on Mirabelle. Mirabelle is awesome, Mr. Farmer. Yes, she certainly is. Oh, before I forget, can you children help me feed the animals? What's the magic word, Mr. Farmer? Oh, right. Please? <laughs> <laughs> the Leafy Sea Dragon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got, Hero. It's a marine aquarium, and it has special saltwater plants in it. Look at that pretty seaweed, Hero. It looks like it has eyes. <gasps> it moved. Did you see that, too? What do you think? Is this seaweed or an animal? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Are you there, Katie? I just sent you a photo of something in my new aquarium. Hi, Leo. Is that seaweed? It looks like seaweed, but it has eyes and it moved. Can you find out what it is? Of course. I've already started looking. Great. See you soon. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So what is it? You won't believe it, Leo. It's an animal. The name of this animal is the leafy sea dragon. It's a type of fish. Leafy sea dragons are similar to the more famous seahorses. It looks more like seaweed than a seahorse. I wonder if it eats seaweed. No, it doesn't. 
The leafy sea dragon is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals like tiny shellfish and shrimp. It has a mouth that looks like a straw, which it uses to suck up its food. So there's no food for the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. The aquarium isn't a good home for the leafy sea dragon anyway. It needs to live in the sea, where there's plenty of food for it. And the best place for leafy sea dragons is in the waters of southern Australia. That's the only place in the world where they can be found, and also where they can be safe. There are laws in Australia to protect leafy sea dragons. People are not allowed to remove these rare animals from the sea without permission. Then let's take the leafy sea dragon back home so it can stay where it's protected. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Welcome to the beach! Ah, I see you have a leafy sea dragon with you today It was in my marine aquarium, Ranger Rocky I thought it was a piece of seaweed Leafy sea dragons use their appearance to help them hide from predators. They live in or around seaweed beds and seagrass meadows, so marine animals don't notice them. Healthy leafy sea dragons can even change their color to look more like the seaweed they are hiding in. Leafy sea dragons can swim, but very slowly. They use the fins on their necks and tails to move and turn. Despite being slow swimmers, they can travel long distances to look for food. Leafy sea dragons are always looking for food. They have no stomach, which means food goes through their bodies quickly. Because of that, they have to eat constantly. That is why it is not easy for leafy sea dragons to survive outside of their natural home. That's one of the reasons why we're taking this leafy sea dragon back to its home, Ranger Rocky. Look for an area where the seawater is clean. If the water is polluted, the seaweed and seagrass in the water will die. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a beach, but I see dirty water flowing out from the pipes into the sea. And on this side is another beach. It's quiet and the water looks clean. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a beach with dirty water flowing into the sea. And over there is a quiet beach with clean seawater. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to this beach because the water looks clean. Let's go! Ranger Rocky! You got here fast! What's going on? I want to make sure nobody comes too close. A storm just hit this area, and it washed a heap of seaweed ashore. Leafy sea dragons live among seaweed, so they often get washed ashore with the seaweed when the waters get rough. Oh no! So there might be leafy sea dragons lying in the seaweed? I'm afraid so, Katie. I'm looking through the seaweed to find them. I want to put them back in the water quickly, so that they'll survive. We'll help you, Ranger Rocky. That would be great. Come in. Look, I just found a leafy sea dragon in this pile of seaweed. If you find any leafy sea dragons, put them in here. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Good job, Junior Rangers. We found all the leafy sea dragons. Since we're taking our leafy sea dragon back to its natural home, 
We can also bring these, Ranger Rocky. That's wonderful, Leo. Please, take this. But what should we look for now? If you want to find the leafy sea dragons a home, just look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. Not for a busy bee or a rusty old key, but look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. I see. So not for a busy bee or a rusty old key, but look, look for a lot, lot of seagrass, of seagrass in, in the sea. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the leafy sea dragons a home, you have to look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the leafy sea dragons. Is that a good home for the leafy sea dragons? No, there are fishing nets in the sea. Leafy sea dragons can get caught in them. Let's look somewhere else. So how about this place? Hmm, it's quiet, but there is no seagrass in the water. Next! Is this a good home for the leafy sea dragons? Yes, it is. There is a lot of seagrass in the sea. Well done, Hero. We're coming over. Look at how much seagrass there is. This will be a great home for the leafy sea dragons. There they go. Stay safe, leafy sea dragons. We did it. We found the leafy sea dragons a home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! found a leafy sea dragon in my marine aquarium. We learned that leafy sea dragons are very rare animals that look like seaweed. They hide in seaweed so that other animals can't spot them. And we took the leafy sea dragon home to Australia because leafy sea dragons are protected there. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. You don't have to tell me twice. Just say the word and I'm close behind. Through ups and downs, side by side. Together in our own paradise. Cause you and I are friends for life. Don't pay no mind to the little fights. Nothing in this world's gonna bring us down. If you ever feel alone, just turn around. So turn your day around You can count on me to stay I wouldn't have it any other way Yeah, cause you and I are friends for life Don't pay no mind to the little fights Nothing in this world's gonna bring us down If you ever feel alone, just turn Cause you're my best friend See me standing there 